This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. Uh, Troy, thank you for uh, becoming the first one to overreact and bite for the bait. All right, well, it's 1030. Let me, let, me, let me get into a little Dolphins talk for some of you out there. Here's Troy Ortiz. Oh, is Greer serious? He might extend Tua this season. He's not extending Tua. There's no chance he's extending Tua at all. Let me explain to some of you out there that you don't get how this, like Troy, doesn't get how this game is played, okay? Um, Chris Greer told you that, you know, he wouldn't shut the door on Mike Kosicki. Mike McDaniel told you he wouldn't shut the door. We're not in the business of, of denying good players. What do you believe? You believe there's any chance Mike Kosicki comes back? No, he doesn't fit what they do. He proved it every week by rarely ever playing the guy. Byron Jones, the dude waits till March to have the surgery, screws you the entire season, whether his body's falling apart or not, or whether he doesn't even know that football does damage to him, whatever. I don't give a shit, to be quite honest. Okay, I don't have any sympathy for that. Shayna, you bought your tickets. You knew what you were getting into. I say, let him crash. Do you think Byron Jones has any shot at coming back? No. But do they tell you that? No, because they're not going to slam a player. And in the Tua thing, Troy, don't be so gullible, dude. There's zero chance. They give him an extension unless he wants to, you know, maybe agree to a five year, $100 million deal at 20 million per season. Oh, here to a go ahead, sign. We'll give you 40 million up front. Here you go. They're not going to do that either because that would be under even the franchise tag, right? Or the, not the franchise tag, the fifth year option, which is 23. So, the game is played like we don't trash players. We don't say we don't want them. We don't say we want no part of them. Nothing. We don't do any of that. We love you, Gesicki. Oh, yeah, we'll have you back. No shot. Oh, Byron Jones. Oh, no, we love you, Byron Jones. No, 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 yeah, no, you never know. You know, you know uh, uh, Vic Fangio has to, you know, look it over, and, you know, we, we think the world of Byron. No fucking shot. Come on, dude. So you have two is your guy. They believe in Tua. They want Tua. But they're not going to say, we're not signing Tua now. We have no intentions on giving Tua an, a, a long-term contract. Are you kidding me? The guy has to prove he's durable, which that's what they're saying behind the scenes. But they can't say that publicly. So there is no shot at all whatsoever of a long-term contract. It's either a fifth-year option or not. That's the decision. That's the one that they don't know. But the entire time, they have to say they embrace Tua. They want him here for a long time. Yeah, we want to sign him to a long-term deal. Is that going to happen this offseason? Of course not. They have to first see that he can stay you know, healthy, that he has figured out how to get rid of the ball, to do all the right things out there and be able to extend plays and extend his career and all that kind of stuff, right? Once you get past that, you know, that, that uh, uh, what's it called, that hurdle, then you can talk about a long-term contract a year or two from now. But there is no chance. All that was was a general manager telling you how much they want the player, how much they love the player, and telling the player publicly and telling the agent publicly how much they want him. Behind the scenes, there's no shot of a contract extension. None. Okay? So let's not overreact. Let's not fall for, you know, the bait. This is a PR game that is being played I tell you this constantly 
when McDaniel was on the podium throughout the year, that he does this shit all the time. And so does Chris Greer. They know how to play the game. They're not going to talk about, we're done with this guy. We don't want him. No, they're not going to do that. That's not how they, that's not how they entertain all this stuff. They, you, you're going to attract more, you know, more, uh, what, um, there's a saying, right? You attract more with honey than with, uh, than with, uh, vinegar or something. I forgot what it is or some shit like that. That's what it's all about, man. All that was, was a PR game. Nothing was said there yesterday that was earth shattering in any way, shape or form. The only thing was that, you know, of course, we're a little concerned about the injuries. And right there is the one that tells you they're not getting a contract extension. You know, oh, I'd be lying if I didn't tell you that obviously we're concerned with, you know. And that, that was about the biggest negative that he could say out of the whole thing, which is something that everybody knows. This is the Big O Show.